Yes, I clear it, but right. please don't have her right. and they'll normally do that. Yeah, Hi there, my name is Joe Manikin. I am the so Spanish, Portuguese, California. South American, and Sherry and Madeira wine buyer for can of wine merchants. And what I want to do today, real quickly, uh, I could probably spin quite the yarn on sherry, uh, but I, I love this stuff. My coworkers really love it. But I just want to really quickly tell you about one particular sherry that we have. It's Emilio, Emilio Hidalgo Marquez de Rodil Palo Cortado. If sherry is sort of like, David likes to talk about the music analogies, if sherry is sort of like the prog rock of the, uh, the wine world, a little bit difficult to understand, lots of tempo changes, lots of variables. Uh, Palo Cortado is possibly just like the, um, you know, just the pinnacle of that. Uh, it's a very unusual style. Basically, when the uh, capatas or the winemaker gets juice from the harvest and it's fermented as must, he'll decide whether he thinks it's going to be best as a fino or aged underfloor, an amontillado or, or which is what a fino becomes, or an oloroso, or a palacortado. Although palacortado, it's not that simple. Palacortado basically starts its life as a fino, and then inexplicably loses the layer of floor which protects it from uh, oxidation, and then ages, and that happens after about a year, and ages oxidatively. So what makes it so fascinating and so complex and interesting is that you have sort of the saltiness of a fino or a Montiato, but then the richness and depth that comes from long barrel aging, uh, like what you have for Oloroso. Uh, it's really, I think, perfectly exemplified in this Marquez de Rodillo. Great salty kind of floor quality, uh, but then you get the really nice kind of a candied citrus and, and, and roasted nut quality. And I say candied, but I'm saying that kind of uh, realizing now that it, it's a bit misleading because this wine is bone dry, uh, delicious as an aperitif, really good uh, after a meal as a digestif as well, but just a mind-blowing wine, I think, for $40. Um, I know I've probably confused everyone to no end. We'll probably have another video kind of breaking down sherry in a little more detail, but for now, Marquez de Rodil, Palo Cortalo from Emilio Hidalgo, kind of the jam. Love it. Give it a try.